today from r slash let's not meet had an incredibly frightening experience last night and wanted to know if anyone here has had a similar encounter so last night i was at a classmate's house working on a group project we have due tomorrow i live in an apartment in town where our university is located and my classmate lives at his parents house which is in the foothills just outside our town in order to get to the house you have to drive along a relatively secluded and narrow two-lane road for about five or six miles. We started working on the project at around 6 p.m. and I ended up hanging around for a while after we finished our work. So I left his house pretty late at about 11 o'clock and started down the road back towards town. I didn't realize how tough it would be to navigate the road at night. There were no street lights and the road was unkept and riddled with potholes. On top of this, I had no cell service, so I had to drive very slowly to make sure I didn't blow out one of my tires since I used my spare tire a couple weeks back. I figure I was about three miles from the house when I rounded a tight corner and saw a pickup truck with a camper shell parked diagonally across the road. The manner in which it was parked completely impeded my path, and I couldn't drive around it because there was a gully on both sides of the road. The only way for me to go at this point was backwards, where there was a pull-off that I could use to turn my car around. At first I couldn't see inside the cab, but when I turned on my high beams, I saw that there was a man slouched over in his driver's seat, his head resting against the steering wheel, as if he had been knocked out after a bad accident. I immediately sensed something was wrong, the way his car had just coincidentally come to rest in a position that totally blocked the road was a big red flag for me. I heard stories of people playing dead on the road as a way to lure unsuspecting people out of their cars so they could rob them. I decided screw this crap and elected to go back to my classmate's house and explain what was going on. I threw the car into reverse and kept my eyes darting back and forth between my rear view and the truck. I looked and saw that I was almost to the pull-off where I could turn around. When I looked back, my heart skipped about five beats. The man who had been slouched over in the driver's seat was now walking at my car in a hurried pace, while a few other men jumped out of the camper shell and started moving towards me as well. I panicked and accelerated backwards into the pull-off, which messed up the undercarriage of my car pretty bad. As I put it into drive, the guy was already at my passenger side door, tugging on the handle, which thank the Lord was locked. I only caught a brief glimpse of him, but his face appeared to be scabbed and leathery. Definitely a meth head or some sort of drug abuser. I sped away and didn't slow down at all until I reached the house, constantly checking my rear view to see if they were following. Thankfully, they didn't tail me, and when I reached the house, I explained what happened to my classmate and we called the cops. I was grateful that my buddy's parents were kind enough to let me stay the night. They didn't find anyone on the road matching the description, but I filled out an incident report and they told me they would be on the lookout for similar vehicles and suspicious activity. But holy crap, I'm still so shook up over it. I keep getting the same adrenaline rush I got when I saw the guy charging me whenever I think about it. Please share similar experiences you've had as I would appreciate a good read or a good discussion to help clear my headspace.